Today's paper is MLP Mixer, an all MLP architecture for vision. In this proposed model, no CNNs or attention modules are used. The idea is similar to the vision transformer model, but it uses only multi-layer perceptrons, also known as MLPs. Two types of MLP layers are mainly used. The first MLP layer is in charge of mixing per location features, and another MLP layer is in charge of mixing spatial information. Because the model only uses multi-layer perceptrons, the computation complexity becomes linear. The model achieves competitive scores on image classification benchmarks when compared to other state-of-the-art models. Now this figure shows the architecture of the MLP mixer. The model consists of per-patch linear embedding, mixer layers, and a classification head. First, the per-patch fully connected layer takes non-overlapping image patches as an input, like in the vision transformer, and projects each patch to a desired hidden dimension. Once all patches are linearly projected with the same projection matrix, they are now fed into n layers of mixer layer. Uh, this mixer layer is shown in the figure at the top. Um, each mixer layer consists of two MLP blocks. Let's denote this matrix after the layer norm as an input feature called X. Each row in different color are the embedded patch tokens from the per patch fully connected layer. This input is now then fed into the first MLP block which is in charge of mixing the tokens in column direction. Um, this block acts on the columns of X by transposing the matrix. The second MLP block is the channel mixing MLP block. The transposed matrix X is now transposed back to its original shape, and the matrix is fed into the layer norm and another MLP module to mix the features in channel dimension. Note that each MLP block consists of two fully connected layers with JALU nonlinearity in between. Now, the final output tokens from the mixer layers are then applied and global average pooling as shown in the figure. The pooled feature uh, is then applied a final fully connected layer to output a class score. The authors evaluate the performance of MLP mixer models uh, pre-trained with medium to large scale datasets on a range of small and mid-sized downstream classification tasks. This table shows transfer performance, inference throughput, and training cost of different models. The models marked in blue are attention-based models, ones marked in yellow are convolution-based models, and the ones marked in pink are the MLP-based mixer models. The mixer model has comparable transfer accuracy to other state-of-the-art models with similar cost. Looking at the mixer model pre-trained on ImageNet 21K, the model achieves 84.15% top one accuracy on ImageNet dataset. Also, on cleaned up real labels, the gap isn't that big. Um, the top one accuracy of the mixer L model achieves 87.86% and the VIT L model achieves 88.62%. The graph on the left shows ImageNet accuracy and the training cost of various state-of-the-art models. The models are pre-trained on ImageNet 21K or JFT or Web Image Text pairs with noise in it. The mixer models marked in pink achieve uh, they achieve uh, competitive results compared with other models like ResNets, VITs, and other hybrid models. On the right, um, it shows the effect of growing training dataset size on ImageNet top 1 accuracy. The authors state that the mixer model pre-trained on a small subset of JFT strongly overfits, but as the dataset size increases, the performance of the mixer models grow faster than models like BIT. Um, and also, as the training dataset 
size grows, the mixer model in solid line exceeds the performance of other models like BIT and VIT. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today and I'll see you next time with a new paper.